We haven't had a foliism in a while, but Bill is saying that, that those clouds look like cotton candy, and that makes you hungry. Pink and blue cotton candy. Gotta have cotton candy. Yeah. What's your yeah. favorite flavor of cotton candy? There is no flavor. It's just cotton candy. It's just cotton candy. It's just cotton candy. Either blue or pink candy. Remember a few years ago when they had all those weird flavors that every week? Hot cinnamon, cotton candy. And maple. Maple. Yeah, maple one night, didn't he? Maple yeah. cotton candy. That was, that was deep. Curious. Curious. He, he brought some of that up to us, remember? Yeah, we ate it. All yeah. of it. No, we ate all of it. Morning. Wow, wow, that was pre-race shenanigans tonight. I'm wearing a hat because I got bad uh, announcer hair, but this guy who's got no hair at all has lost a crap ton of weight. I'm walking through the gate, barely recognize him. The freight train, Andrew Ferguson. How you doing tonight? I'm here, sweating. I haven't been able to wear this suit in three years. There you go. But I forgot to wash my Fusillo suit, so I had to wear this one. Yeah? Well, it's it good. actually fits. It's good that you have options now. Yeah, I didn't have options before, so yeah. I have them now. Well, how's your season going so far? It started off like gangbusters, and then uh, you are telling me before Hot Labs you're throwing the book at the thing. What's going on? I was just changing stuff, trying to learn things, you know. I mean, uh, I was co consistently coming with the same setup, and the tracks have changed. You know, it's summer. The sun's out a lot longer. The tracks are getting drier, and they're just not holding the moisture all night. So got to get better on the slick. You know, they changed the order up. Now we run last here which I think is great for the fans and everything to stay. And uh, I think it's smart business in my opinion. And um, it's pretty cool. You get people come in this after and fans. Fans come in and talk to us and get to see us. And uh, so we're obviously running later. We got less grip on the racetrack. So you gotta got to make make changes for that. And that's what we're doing. How's it uh, uh, good being back with a Bicknell? I know you were running AFAB last year. Switch back to a Bicknell this year. How How's that benefited you? It just benefits me because there's so many of them in the pits, you know. Um, Big Fab, I think they're a great car, and Jerry's a heck of a guy. And uh, I just think being the only guy, I mean, Blake Bowman had one, at, you know, and we were the only two guys up here that had them. So you don't have a lot to go by, you know. Who are you going to talk to in the pits when you when you have problems? And that's the only downfall of it, I think. I mean, um, you know, these things, you know, Scott Jeffries and uh, all them guys have them. You know, Chris Heil, he's got them. You know, everyone's got them. Millions of them. These Troyers, Teos, those three up here are big. So, you know, just you got a wider range of notes and people to talk to and people to help. And that's the cool thing about this mod class. Everyone seems to be pretty helpful. And I think that's the biggest thing. Well, that's good. Uh, so you threw the book at it. How was it for Hot Labs? Do you think it'll be fast tonight? I hope so. Uh, it seemed to have a lot more drive than it's had lately, which is good. And uh, which we you know should be good for later in the, in the black stuff. So, now I gotta free it up, which I've never had to do before. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Now the fans love the funny questions, so here I'm gonna hit you with them: bungee jump or skydive? We talked about this earlier. Yeah, neither. Neither. No. Why not? I'm scared of heights. I I won't even like. Uh, I had to get up on my roof on my garage last year and uh, get some uh, tree branches fell off, and I was like shaking like a leaf up there. I don't. <laughs> don't like it up there. I don't do it, but I will ride any roller coaster in the world. For some reason, must be because I'm strapped in. I don't know what it is, but I just anything heights wise, bungee cord. I don't, you know, I don't care if you tandem jump, whatever. <laughs> somebody else's responsibility. No, nope, not happening. I won't Nothing. Do it. So no, no, no to either. No. Nope. He's scared of heights, but he's a roller coaster guy. Yeah. But it, it's nothing like driving one of these beasts. No, no, these things are sweet. You know, they're <laughs> the best thing around. And you're strapped in too, so you're not you're not no heights here unless yeah. you unless you decide to flip, which you did at Utica Rome last year. Yeah, we don't talk about that though. That's just, yeah, that's bad news. We, we don't talk about that story ever. No, it's just a bad time. I went there last week for the first time last Sunday. Yeah. And. Uh, Dad, I come in after, he goes, you needed to run the top at the other end, you would have been way faster. I said, I ain't going up there. I ain't going up there. Give, give <laughs> me some bad time. memories Give me there. some time, you know, maybe maybe we'll try this Sunday when we go again, maybe we'll go up there, but it was, um, 
All right, so no to either. Burritos or tacos? Ooh. I'm not really a huge, like, Mexican guy, but tacos. If you were to go to dinner right now, where would you go? Tully's. Tully's, what would you get? Tenders, man. Oh, tenders? Now, For days. question, question of the night. Barbecue Honey sauce. mustard. Oh, barbecue, okay. I already knew the question, man. All right, yeah, I know. You were right ahead of me. I was on it. I have to have the ranch because what you don't know about the ranch, it's it's buttermilk, and they make it right there with the packets. Really? Try buttermilk with your tenders next time. From I do the ranch with, like, French fries. I put my Okay, ranch. yeah. And it's pretty good, actually. Try it with the chicken tenders. Next time you go there, I'm you'll not. never go back. I'll have to try that. Absolutely. And try it out at home. Tully's with the uh, ranch dressing. It's Tully's buttermilk. Tully's the best. I love Absolutely. Tully's. It's the greatest. Um, all right, well, we know where we're going after the races. If you had to take a selfie with anybody, who would it be and why? Like anybody anywhere? Anybody anywhere. Oh, man, this is tough. Yeah, it's celebrity. Like, what's your celebrity crush? That'd be my go-to. I don't know. I... Blake Lively for days. Tony Stewart, probably. Tony Stewart? I love Tony Stewart. I actually have two with Tony Stewart, believe it or not, at Sealands Grove. He's a good guy. Very, very personable. I'm very jealous. I, yeah. I met him a few times. I met him at Weed Sport a couple years ago, and he was a cool guy. And I've liked him since uh, a long time when he was with Gibbs yeah. and everything. And, um, Maybe I'll put those up and show you right here, and we'll put one right here too. Oh, and perfect. I'll show so, you. Right, over, right over here. You can like put them in there so that I'd be standing next to him without standing next to him kind of deal? Absolutely. It'd be like a dream come true on there. All right. Best racing moment. Oh, wow. I think I was a part of this one. Yeah. If I guess. Right. My first win at Fulton. Yeah. Uh, awesome. It was that year was tough. You know, we got the trailer stolen, and then um, had some people pull together and give me everything because all I had left was the car, and I was borrowing a trailer and wheels and tires and uh, scraped up enough money to buy a new right rear tire that night. And Mike Mahaney siped it and prepped it for me, and uh, we went out there and we won. It was great. It was a rocket. I remember you were. It was ecstatic. fast. It was fast. It was a good. It was a good night. That's, they keep you hooked. See, that's what happens. Yeah. You have a shit ton of bad nights. And then, and then like one, one good one. Yeah, see, like I had those two a couple weeks ago, and now I'm like, I have to be here. And I could be bad. <laughs> and then on the way home, I'm like, why do I keep doing this to myself? No, why, just, why am I punishing just, myself? It's, a, it's, a, it's great. I'm glad, I'm glad that my dad got me into this when I was young, and uh, I could be doing a lot other things in my life. And um, I'm just glad that I do this and get to hang out with all these cool people all the time. Absolutely. I mean, it's a family almost. It is. It's great. I love it. So many things going on this weekend. Can do a race night recap for every night, so this is going to be the rapid fire recap. Uh, starting things on Wednesday night, Empire Super Sprint Speed Week kicked off on Brewerton Speedway's Wednesday night show, and uh, Mike Mahaney in a sprint car picks up his first feature win at the Brewerton Speedway in a sprint car, no less. Uh, great job done by Mike, and that was on Wednesday. Thursday night, took my dad out for his birthday, did not go to Canandaigua, but Matt Tanner picking up the win for the Empire Super Sprints on Thursday night. Friday night, we were back at it at the Brewerton Speedway. Chuck Bauer with the feature win. He'd been oh so close so many times. Great to see Chuck battle home and hold off the 8-hour of Robbie Bellinger for a feature win. Chuck, one of those low-budget guys. Uh, only has two sponsors, one of them Ingalls Performance with him for a very long time. And again, he was so close so many times this year for him to break through. was big for him, and I was lucky enough to do the Victory Lane interview. You can tell he was definitely emotional and happy picking up the feature win at the Brewerton and Speedway. On Saturday night, we had the Empire Super Sprints and the Modifieds yet again. Larry White looked like he was walking away with it. Flat right rear tire. He ended up having to go to the pits, relinquish the lead. Steve Poirier holding on for the feature win on Saturday night. And it was fun watching Larry White come up through the field. Probably not so much fun for him as it looks like he was in total control. The Beville Bandit Jimmy Phelps picking up the modified portion of the card on Saturday night for the Tracy Road Equipment Big Block Modifieds. Wasn't so happy with his car on Friday. Him and his crew made the correct adjustments and flew by the field for a feature win Saturday at the Fulton Speedway. Sunday, I went to the Cornwall Motor Speedway. Was a little disappointed in the car count. Couple drivers made other plans. 
couldn't attend the races for one way or the no or another, uh, but we had a solid field of race cars, not as many as we'd hoped, uh, but the number of cars does not always dictate the type of racing, and it was solid racing through the heats, uh, a lot of side-by-side -side action in the feature as well. Green the checkered 35 laps in a little over nine minutes. Charlie Sandercock holding on for the feature win. He doubles up, won our last tour race at Brighton, and wins again at Cornwall on Sunday. For the Empire Super Sprints, race and Jason Barney, who had a solid week, all ESS Sprint Weeks, uh, holds on for the win at the Utica Rome Speedway. Uh, good for Jason Barney, happy for him uh, to win at the Utica Rome Speedway, and Steve Poirier holds on and collects the Empire Super Sprint uh, Speed Week Championship overall, and uh, Steve Poirier continuing to show why he's one of the best 360 sprint car drivers in the nation, uh, continues to rack up the wins with the Empire Super Sprint Tour. We want to thank each and every one of you for, again, continuing to watch this here. If there's anything you'd like to see more of, see less of, let me know in the comments. And it uh, helps me really bring the content to you. I'll do more of what you like, less of what you don't like. I'm trying to keep these videos pretty short. As you can see here, we're just trying to do one video for the entire week because uh, it's a lot to watch all at once. And Saturday at the Fulton Speedway, family autograph night. You get to meet Ronald McDonald and the Hamburger Griller. Oh yeah, so much fun. Stay tuned.